Hello viewers and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. In our today's class, we have an Olympiad question, uh, a Philippines Olympiad question, sometimes 2008 or thereabout. We are our mandate is to find the value of x this distance, distance a p x. This is erect. Uh, this is a rectangle or a square. We have so, uh, a supplied parameters a b c and d we have this point p we have m we have this line a b to be one meter and a c to be one meter okay this one meter and this one meter clearly shows that this line and this line are uh, uh, is equal a b is equal to c d so that means this line is also one meter Sorry, our mandate is to find x squared and not x, x squared, the square of this line. So, this is also 1 meter because here I have a uh, rectal uh, 90 degrees. So, if that is the case, let me start working from whole to part. I'm going to start solving uh, for x collectively. And I will be narrowing my solution to the area of focus. Okay. When I consider triangle A, C, D, I will get to understand that it is a it is an isosceles right angle triangle. So we can comfortably, since we have two sides and we have included angle which is 90 we can comfortably use our pythagoras theorem which states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of adjacent and opposite if that is the case then our a d our a d squared that is this line a d is equal to one squared plus one squared that is a d squared is equals to 2 that is a d is equals to square root of 2 so this line is equals to square root of 2 this a d so i want to i want to find a m but because of these two marks, it shows that this M is equidistant from A and from D. And that means we can divide the whole line AD by 2 to give us uh, a, each of these, MD and MA. So if that is the case, uh, AM, AM is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. So let me sketch this line. We are going to have so this line from here to here, which is AM, AM is square root of 2 divided by 2. And this, remember, this is 90. 90 because this angle is 90 because the perpendicular bisector of a square meet at a uh, 90 degree is perpendicular so if that is the case how can we get p m but we know that this point p is equidistant from m and from b that means p b is equal to p m so now i'm looking for p m this look at it p m i'm looking for p m but remember that this m is also equidistant from D, from B, from A, and from C. If that is the case, that means this AM that I have already is equal to MB. So if MP is equal to PB, that means this uh, AM, this AM is directly half of this MP. So this mp mp is equals to square root of 2 divided by 2 then divide by another 2 so mp is now equals square root of 2 divided by 2 times 1 over 
two. So M P this is line, this is line, line is equals to square root of two divided by four. So this is square root of two divided by four. So we are looking for x now. We will still have to use the Pythagoras theorem to get this x, which said that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite and adjacent. So we have our opposite, we have our adjacent. So that means x squared is now equals square root of 2 divided by 4 square plus square root of 2 divided by 2 whole squared. That means x squared is now equals 2 divided by 16 plus 2 divided by 4. That means x squared is equals to this LCM is 16. Then I have 2 plus uh, 2 into 16, this is 4, this is 8. So x squared is equals to 10 divided by 16, which is 5 can go here, uh, 2 can go, 5 and 2 can go here, 8. So x is now equals uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 root 2. Two. Let me clean here. So, but our mandate is to find x squared and not x. That means I need to square this, my answer. So, x squared is now equals square root of 5 divided by 2 root 2 whole squared. That means x squared is now equals 5 divided by 4 times 2, which is 5 divided by 8. So the square of this is equals to 5 divided by 8. And this is all I have for you for today, my viewers. If you learn something new, don't hesitate to subscribe, as that is the only way we can hit the ground running. Bye.